going on everybody? Welcome to Beauty and the Beast. I am the Beastly Gamer and this is Miss Everything Random. The Beauty. My lovely wife. And uh, we wanted to get with you guys and do something fun. The last few episodes we've done of this show have kind of gotten... Uh, creative. Kind of creative. Yeah, we, we've come up with some pretty fun things. Throwing hats and stuff. Throwing darts at each other's asses. Oh, we didn't record that one. Uh, but today we want to do something that's going to be fun. It'll be uh, at our expense. But I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So let me go into the, the narration of what we're going to do today. If you guys like jelly beans, you probably know the, the brand, Jelly Belly. And we went out shopping and found this. It's called Bean Boozled. And it is something to behold. Now, as you guys can see in this video here, uh, we have the contents of the box open. And as you guys can see, there's a wheel, kind of a wheel Spinner. of mythicality, and jelly beans. Now, the jelly beans look delicious, but do not be fooled. They are not all delicious. They all have similar colors, but they're two different tastes for every color. So I'm going to go through these, co these colors and tastes, let you guys know what you can expect as we play this game. So, on the good side, you got Tutti Fruity, the same color as Stinky Socks. So when we spin the wheel and someone gets that color, you got a 50-50 chance to have a Tutti Fruity sensation. Luck is on my side. Or some fucked up socks in your mouth. Also good flavors of buttered popcorn, peach, juicy pear, coconut, lime, uh, berry blue, chocolate pudding, caramel corn, and black licorice. Now the bad flavors are... No one likes licorice. I love licorice. Black or berry. The the disgusting flavors that have the same colors, we have a 50-50 50, 50 chance. 50 cent. 50 Don't cent. tell nobody how much my camera costs. G unit. Stinky socks, rotten eggs, barf, which is throw up for those who don't know. Boogers. <laughs> I got some of here. Uh baby wipes. Which I, I think that my wife has had some of those in her mouth before. You know, she's changed lots of diapers. Our kids are getting older now. You can start telling people the truth. I, I don't know why I would do that, but okay. All right. Lawn clippings. So if you want to cut grass and see what that tastes like. Toothpaste, which I don't mind doing. Canned dog food. Uh, moldy cheese. And last but not least, skunk spray, which may actually taste good. You know, it's one of those situations where something might smell horrible when you put it in your mouth. It's just, it's magic. Skunk spray no. might actually be that. It's not true, ever. Yeah, well, we'll find out today, won't we? All right, so we're, we're going to play a game with you guys. Basically, what we're going to do, we're going to do a tag, a nine-question tag. We're going to answer the questions from the tag, and every time we answer the question, we're going to spin this wheel here and see what we get. Now, what is the tag all about? Why don't you tell them? It's an interracial relationship tag. Ooh, so spicy. So that's for people Skin. from different races enter Eagle. each other <laughs> in race. <laughs> so th that's what we do. We're, we're in an interracial relationship. We've got two kids. We've been married for a few years. Um, it's been the worst decision of my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and so we're going to answer, answer these questions for you guys. Kate's going to uh, read them off. And once we answer them, we'll spin the wheel and see what we get. All right. So the first one is, what is your race? You mean the Hmm, this is a very difficult question for an African American because he's well, obviously Eskimo. Yeah, it's, it's cold as shit. Um, I'm African American, right? Or black, as we like to say in the hood. Um, and so my history is kind of an enigma to me because after we came over here on those uh, love boats hundreds of years ago, we kind of lost track of what was going on with our people. We don't know what neighborhood we came from, what tribe we belong to. All we know is we work, we live, and our grandparents grew up in Alabama. That's pretty much me. Now on the other side of, of my family is Cherokee Indian, which accounts for these high cheekbones. Now why don't you tell them where you're from? Now, now let me guess, Zimbabwe. Yes, that is exactly right. I look good, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, the only true um, thing I know is that my grandfather was from Croatia, so I don't know the other side of me or the other halves or other parts or anything like that, so the closest thing I know is Croatian, okay. which is by Italy. So she, she knows about as much about her history as I do. Yeah. Alright, so you want to spin the wheel, baby? Uh, okay. 
Ooh. That was a bad spin. It was a good spin. It was a bad it spin. Directly on licorice. I don't like either of those. Or skunk spray. Congratulations, my dear. I don't like licorice. Go ahead and let everybody know which one you got. You better hope it. spin too? No, I want to see your reaction first, and I'll spin. You can't smell the difference. No, you can't. They're really smart when they cook this shit up. Licorice. Ooh, you lucky dog. Damn it's it. It's licorice, and it's still disgusting, but well, it tolerable. Better, better than a damn skunk's ass. All right, so I'm going to spin now. What'd I get? What'd I get? Oh, that's, oh, that's a Berry one. blue or toothpaste. I can ride with that. So, here we go. Some berry blue today. It's blue. <laughs> you got toothpaste. <laughs> How good does that taste? <laughs> I just got a shower and brushing my fucking teeth again. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. It's not bad. I made it through the first one. Uh, come on. You, everybody wants to eat their toothpaste if it's really good. Now you can actually fucking do you it. You can do it without <laughs> dying. Okay. Number two. Was this your first time dating outside of your race? I'll let you go first this time. Okay. Um, well, when I was like, I think I was 12, um, I had a date, I guess you could say. I went to a skating rink with a black kid, and he took me, he paid for me and everything, so I guess that's considered a date, but that was the only other first time than being with this handsome lug. Thanks for setting me up, brother. <laughs> Thanks. Um, this... Kate, you're actually the, the very first interracial relationship I've ever had. You're the first relationship. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I actually grew up in um, a predominantly African-American uh, community. And there weren't many um, of the, the brighter side of life in my hood growing up. So I, I really didn't experience that. And, and pretty much everyone who I knew, family members, they all grew up and kind of stuck with their own people. And uh, when I moved to Ohio in 2007... I met her uh, a few few years later, 2000 and, 2009. Yep. And um, I went out, you know, to the movie with her, and she said, "Will you please take me out?" I said, "Sure, why not?" And um, not we've been together every day since. It's been awesome. But yeah, you're my first interracial relationship, and it's been a great, great experience for me. All right, so I'm gonna spin first. Oh, run egg. Butter. Butter. butter popcorn. All right, so that, these yellow ones. These ones here. Yeah. This would be real jacked up. Enjoy. Butter popcorn. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> is that is that popcorn, Shouty? Oh. Okay. Uh, caramel corn or moldy cheese. <laughs> Get her good. Get her good. This popcorn is so good. <laughs> okay. Got that ass! Ah! <laughs> yes! You better eat that damn cheese. This is so gross. <laughs> Just pretend like it's buttery popcorn. <laughs> oh my god, I want to throw up. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's like for real moldy. It tastes like you're eating mold. That's it's awesome. making my eyes water. Look. Hey, look. Cry for... Cry. I need some water. <laughs> All right. This happens to be a bottle of water right there. All right, so we got another question. Ew. Ew. Okay. What has been the most challenging thing about dating interracially? Ooh, the most challenging... I'll let you drink. Um, the most challenging thing about interracial dating, it's not really a challenge, it's just more of an annoyance. There's, it's, yeah, it's, there's it's, no real challenge to it. It's... Other people, people are opinionated. There are a lot of people who don't believe in it. There are a lot of people who get frustrated by it. Yeah, I get, you know, I understand it. I, I see people out in the world and they may have never experienced that other side of, of life. And uh, people get frustrated by it. I got family members who don't understand it. So, so do I. It, it can be, um, that can be the only, only thing that you're open-minded and other people are closed-minded. But it's not really a challenge because my life is good. I'm happy. We you know? are drama-free. We have a really good life. I'm thankful to God for it, but we really do have a really good life. Okay, so go ahead and answer. Well, I, I answered with you. I mean, there's really no challenge 
it's just certain certain people out in the world or even in our families are not as open-minded as most we are most interracial couples and other people but I mean there's no real challenge to it huh. well I'm gonna spin Coconut or baby, baby wipes. wipes? What color is that? Damn White. you! Coconut, I can't get that. I just, I just had some raw coconut. I just cracked it open, drank the coconut milk, and had some chunks. So please, I literally just did that when I got home. I can't get that taste. Of it's not a coconut. <laughs> it's not a coconut. What do baby wipes taste like? I'm trying to get this damn paper out of my. It tastes like paper? <laughs> it tastes like a fucking baby wipe smells. <laughs> Add some sugar to a baby wipe. Try it or let me know in the comments. Oh my goodness. I bet it's better than rotten cheese, okay? Hurry up with the damn <laughs> with the spin. Okay. Oh, uh, it's a juicy pear or a bugger. Oh gosh. Okay, so I'm guessing it's this one. What does a booger taste like? <laughs> You're about to find out, buddy. Big green one. Oh, yes! Yes! Here, you want some baby wipes? I can't do it. <laughs> Ew. That mixed with the moldy you cheese nasty flavor. nasty bastard. I ain't giving you none tonight. <laughs> Why is my luck so horrible? Oh. Man. Wow. What an experience. <laughs> How did they find out what a booger tasted like? I have no idea. They, they ate like, a lot of boogers. Yeah, did they like test like a hundred people's boogers? Apparently. Ooh, this tastes like um. Ugh. Okay. Um, do you get dirty looks or stares in public? Not me, because I'm a pretty fucking big guy. You know, I'm a big dude. Um, I get it. I get it from the women. Right. I get it from from the African American sisters, because normally if they see me. And by myself, I get the look, you know, like, what's up, honey? And I pull up with snow, snow bunny over here, and all of a sudden it turns into a motherfucker. Now, here's one instance that happened to me in Family Dollar. This happened how many years ago? Three, uh, three or four years four. ago? And um, I was in Family Dollar, had my, my daughter with me, Nova, she was a baby. And some woman who knew me from just being out, you know, in the world in Ohio, she said, oh, is that your daughter? black woman. I said, yeah. She said, oh my God, she's so beautiful. I said, thank you. And then I'll just call you Snow Bunny. Snow Bunny came around behind me and she looked me up and down like I was short. <laughs> she said, oh, you one of them. And I just smiled and walked off. So, so every now and then, I mean, that's only natural. It's going to happen in this world, you know? What yeah. about you? Um, every now and then, I mean, I get looks from everybody. I guess. I get looks from the white guys and the black women, like, they hate me because I'm with you. And the she white guys are like, why would you be with him? So every now and then, it's not like a persistent thing, it's not every day. There, there was a funny time at Walmart that this white guy was checking Kate out. She was, we were in electronics looking at video games, and she was far away, and then he called his buddy over. And you know, I remember I told you about this, he said, hey dude, come, come here. So the guy came over, I said, dude, check her out, man, she's fucking hot. And they were both looking. And I walked up behind her and I smacked her on the ass and I looked at her and they, they dipped out of there so quick. I think they went straight to housewares. But, housewares? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to spin. Okay. Oh, shh. Spin, damn it. Um, Licorice or skunk spray? It's like right in the middle, but I'll go with this since I just had coconut. No, I had baby wipes. Baby wipes. Uh, I'll go with the black. Skunk spray. And I made the damn joke, didn't I? That it might actually taste good. Let's see how that... Because skunk, you can smell it. I can't smell the shit. What is this candy shit. coating made out of? Mantium? Licorice. Bam. Okay. Oh. Um, berry, blue, or toothpaste? Nope. It's, it's over on this side, babe. Oh, it looks like it's on this side to me. Lime or lawn clippings? Which yep. one would that be? This one? It would be the light green. Well, yeah, the lighter of the green. Okay, let's see what grass tastes like. Because you just had boogers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 
It's for us. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's uh you better, hey look. Some people if you if you don't if you don't treat the grass right, you can get shot. So you ain't smoking, chew that shit up. It's not it's not horrible. It tastes kinda earthy. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna juice it? Alright. Yeah, so, it's like a <laughs> you're juicing the pulp and stuff, so it's not unbearable. <laughs> that grass be good as hell. <laughs> uh, okay. You guys be sure to check out Miss Everything Random's channel too. It's growing and uh, I'm really proud of her. Check out her channel, subscribe to her channel, show the ladies some love. Alright, number five. Do you plan to get married or have children? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <gasps> we've already done both, dude. Not yet, we've already done that. So, uh, if, if you would have asked me before I had kids, I already had two, you know. I had two big. I had none. I had two, and, and she and didn't. And I had she, no plans of having kids. She didn't think she wanted to be a mother, and I'm um, happy she. I'm happy she took the seed. And now I'm homeschooling. I'm yeah, like, she's on. a she's a hell of a mom. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better mother, friend, lover. <laughs> All right, so we're going <laughs> we're going to spin now. Go ahead. My fingers are too. Look how big my damn fingers are. Oh, you got it. Long clippings. Let me get a piece of this grass, Sheldon. You got the grass? It's not horrible, but... Oh, how do you eat this grass? It's... If real grass tasted like this, it'd be look like Arizona outside. You look outside. Oh, I got it again. <laughs> Call, count your blessings. Spin it again. Oh, I wanted to... I got I'm, that again. You didn't get to... to yes, I did. I had the licorice. No, Peach or barf? Oh, oh yes, this is good. And with her luck, it's going to taste like someone freshly made the barf. I will spit it out. Be warned. That's what happened. That's how people barf. People do spit it out. You peach. <laughs> She's barfing, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, my God. It tastes like when spaghetti comes back up, if you throw up spaghetti. That's so cool. Jelly Belly. You oh guys get a 10 for 10 No, you so don't. Far. This is the worst game in the world, and I don't know why. It's like awesome. It. You guys go out and, and find your own Bean Boozled box. This is, I think, the third iteration. They added new flavors to it. Yep, it's the third. Oh, God, that's the horrible. The third iteration. You guys can see it. Looks like they got three of them, eh? All right, so the next, uh, the next question. Girl, you look like you just threw up. I did. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, so if you had children, how do you think they will be perceived? Well, we do have children. Um, we do have them. I think people perceive them very well. I mean, I think when you mix the genes, you get something special. Uh, I think my daughter, my daughters are some of the most beautiful, but anybody would say that about their kid. They're all children. If you had a one-legged kid with three eyes and four teeth, you'd say, mm, you're still beautiful to me. But to me, I, I think my daughters are stunningly beautiful so I mean when I'm in the store all I get is your your daughters they're so beautiful oh my god so beautiful so beautiful so like I think my children will be perceived well by others when they get older in in the world by themselves mm -hmm. so ditto ditto all right so you can spin first I'm sick of playing this game we're just going to spin for you guys here oh buttered popcorn or rotten egg Go ahead and grab it, girl. No. The popcorn banging. I don't want to play no more. That's your favorite, isn't it? You can't smell it. You already know you can't smell it. That's open. I don't want to play no more. It's good. It's popcorn. You got some fucked up look. This is not popcorn. <laughs> She's just going back to back. I get all the back. This is Are you the drink? worst. Are you going back to back? Oh. Uh, all these flavors are mixing in my taste buds. All right, so you I got butter popcorn right now. Which one is it? Didn't you already take taste that one, though? I didn't get a chance to try the egg. I mean, hey, I'm having pretty good fucking luck here. Yeah, and that's very unfair. <laughs> Not this time. It's butter popcorn. Oh, damn. I swear. It. Damn it! Because <laughs> I'm the fucking man. This is not fair. The worst thing I had to taste today was baby wipes. How many questions we got left? This is not fair. Okay, we have three. All right. Is it different dating outside your race as opposed to dating within? Of course. 
it's very different because every uh, every social group, every racial group has their own. Well, I guess you can't stereotype all people. Yeah. But dating a Caucasian woman is different for me for me than dating a black woman was, just because of the way you are compared to the way she was. Yeah, it's just. I think it's person. Yeah, person. I think it's person. The, person. the main thing I think that is different is the looks that you get, yeah. or the questions, or. or I that. just don't understand the tanning thing. It just doesn't work for me. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think like for me, it's it's not dating whether white or black or Asian or anything like that. It's just person to person is what's going to be different, and the looks and, and questions is really the only thing that'll different I think. Mm, okay. Or is different. I'm spinning and I got damn it they gave oh. canned dog food. Canned dog food chocolate, chocolate pudding food. baby. It, it looks like poop. <laughs> <laughs> yes! God damn it. How good does that taste? This is bullshit. Does it taste horrible? I'm not Oh, I got licorice and skunk spray. This ain't cool. I think I've tried them all, haven't I? Well, just try it. Okay, I'm going to try a blue one. This is blueberry or toothpaste. Never thought a flavor would piss me off. <laughs> that fucking dog food ain't no joke. Okay, I got toothpaste. Oh, fuck. Get the next question. And this isn't that bad here. <laughs> 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 The toothpaste is helping all the other flavors disappear in my mouth. Okay. So, do you interact with other interracial couples? No. We don't want their relationship fucking ours up. Because <laughs> you know what? They're going to fuck up. You know what? Jamal just fuck somebody. <laughs> we got to keep it to ourselves. Okay, Tiffany. Yeah. No, um... We, we, we don't really know anything. I don't know any... I know... I like, know... I know black folks who date black folks and white folks who date white folks, and I like it the way it is. And, and another good thing is not in the questions, but... Oh, we, we have one interracial couple friend, Blair. Oh, Blair's Wire Bonsai. Check yeah. out his Facebook page, baby. Blair has an a African-American wife, and um, her name is Doris, and she's awesome. And they're, Blair is someone who I met through work, and uh, he's a really good guy. He's the only one I know, and, yeah. and they're like us. They're just like us. They're like. fucking happy. They're just, you know, a few years older than we are. But they're a very beautiful couple. It's good to see that. And one thing I want to say, you guys see those interracial relationships where the black dude's a thug and then the white girl trying to be one? And she's talking like D. Right Hill. And she got her hair braided to the side and got a fucking tear tattooed on her face. I'm not into that shit. That's why I'm happy she's as white as they get. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a black man, right? I mean, you guys might think I, I speak clearly because I've been in marketing and sales most of my life. But as far as my activities, I'm about as black as they get, brother. But she, um, she's the antithesis of that. Now I enjoy that contrast. Word. All right, so <laughs> word. You got totally. You got to spin. Totally, dude. Uh, do the tutti frutti or stinky sock. Damn it. Get them socks. Yeah, the socks. They're tasting good. I, I don't like that dog food shit. I almost dropped it. Oop. Nope. That's not happening. Yes! 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 That's not How happening. How horrible is that? God damn it. Okay, I guess I'll Look do the like same one. like Michael Jordan's foot. Since I, I did it. The smell, it tastes like they got all the sweat and yuck all in the fucking bean. Ew. Dude, now I don't want to do this one. Okay. Okay. Tutti Fruity. That's bullshit. That was bullshit. I'm mad at this shit. I bit it directly in half, and the flavor just corrupted my damn soul. Okay, um, Got, last know, one. Last question, guys. What made you fall in love with this person? This girl can put it down, man. <laughs> she better than the rest, you know? This girl, no, I'm just kidding. Um, when I first met you, I wasn't really looking to get into a long-term relationship type of thing. And um, we started hanging out like every single day. And to me, that was strange on me in general. And after a very short period of time, I was like, this is the most awesome chick I've ever known. I'm not bullshitting, man. Check her resume. This girl is bad, son. 
she um she does so many things she has so many things in common with me she showed me so many things i had no idea existed my life has just really gotten a million times better since i met her and i love her to death i love her to death man i mean to be totally honest i see myself old and feeble balls hanging to the ground and still right next to this lady i'll pick them up for you thank you <laughs> Um, let's see, that pretty face is what made me fall in love. Um, yeah, well, when I first met you, you know, um, I was shy, of course, I'm shy around everyone when I first meet, but, um, your comedic ways, really, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was coughing, <laughs> they really, um, attracted me to you, because you're like everything I'm not, which makes us click perfectly, like, we click. Like, I'm shy, and he's not. He's outgoing. So in public, he's the center of attention, and I'm just kind of there. God That's damn it, the way waiter! I... Did you fuck up my order again? That's the way I like it. Um, so I'm not mean like that, guys. He is. Don't let him. Don't let that face fool you. This face? <laughs> okay. Well, which one haven't you tried yet? Uh, you didn't do peach or barf. Do yeah. that one. No, no, I'd rather do a booger than that. You gotta do both. No, I fucking don't. Yes, you do. All right, I'll try. We have no more questions. I'll try but... the beef and uh, the the, the uh, peach and the barf. You got peach. Lord is good. God is good. Okay, I didn't try the dog food. This is a good way to end. Don't eat the whole dog food. One. If you get dog food, eat it. No. If I'm not, if I don't like it, I'm not gonna eat it. Oh, God. Woof, woof! Good girl. Good girl. Come here. Ew. Let me rub you down here. Did you? Ew! Ew! These are the most horrible flavors ever. And the box gets sealed. Um, yeah. There's one that I didn't try and I'm not going to try. I'm not gonna test the limits. But that is... How do they come up with these flavors? It's real fucked up. Somebody man. messed is... up and you know what? I think it's really stuff. good. Let's, let's do someone's taint. <laughs> These guys are Ew. mad scientists, but it makes for a really fun game. No. If you guys ever get a chance, check out Bean Boozled. And eat them all. No, <laughs> you ain't gonna do that shit. It's by Jelly Belly. Thank you all so much for watching. We really had a good time with you. It was at our expense. We, and if you guys are wondering what's going on here, Kate's still trying to figure out how to get to the grocery store. Um, uh, I just can't figure it out. No, she uh, she's homeschooling Nova, our daughter. And Nova's, Nova's doing awesome. I think she's going to take my job in a year. Thank and you all. And if you're in an interracial relationship, let us know how that's going or any questions that we answered, you answer them too. I'd like to know. Uh, so it doesn't apply if you're a woman and you have like, if you're a white woman and you got a black toy. That doesn't count. But thank you all so much. They didn't think it did. No. Only you. <laughs> you know what I like. Thank you all so much for watching. Had a, a great time. Be sure to check out Miss Everything Random's channel. It's an awesome place for random shit and for all things awesome. Keep it to the Beastly Gamer channel. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.